Good morning, everyone. I'm more than a little sleep deprived right now, but I was so excited to show you this new wrap. And I decided this morning that I'm gonna wrap in very serene, calm colors, so it will help me go through my day serenely and calmly and be a kiddush Hashem, God willing, hopefully. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to be doing the triple waterfall wrap that I showed yesterday um, in my blog post. And it's really quite simple if you know how to do the waterfall. Um, it's just you do the same thing three times, but um, it can get a bit confusing when you actually look at the end result. So putting my first tune one on, I'm going to go through this first process quickly because I'm hoping you know how to do it. Um, it's basically the exact same as the double braid. both ends hanging evenly. I've got my teal, turquoise, and aqua two-in-ones on today because they're kind of monochromatic colors and they're very serene and my favorite colors, so God willing, they'll make me feel good. And I'll be able to do my Shabbat preparations with ease. But yesterday I wore this with contrasting colors and basically you can do it with any colors that you want. There you go. Yes, you can hear my husband practicing in the background. Beethoven concerto, what? It's so beautiful. I hope he didn't hear me say that because then he's gonna get nervous. Okay. That's number two. And then the third one, making sure they're just nice and smooth up top. And again, how far you place these from each other at the front of your head is just going to depend on what look you want. I'm trying to space them pretty evenly, but it's up to you. You want to leave enough space at the back. This is one of those wraps that you do need a shaper for. Um, you want to leave enough space at the back right here to do your work with all the knotting and all that. Yeah. And as always, make sure that you have a good kavanah. My kavanah today is for all those doing your Shabbat preparations that you can do so with serenity and peace and love and joy. So what I'm going to do for my first knot is I'm choosing, you can see how my base color here is the aqua. I'm choosing the two non-aqua colors. That's my teal and my turquoise. I mean, it's hard to see in the video, but these are different colors. And I'm bringing them up. Again, this side right here is what you want to make sure looks neat because that's going to be displayed. And then for those of you that are left handed, make sure that this knot here is in the front because then it will like hangs down very nicely. And again, depending on how high or low you want the knots, I'm doing this one a little higher than yesterday. Um, that's where you're gonna tie your knot. So just tie your knot once and then bring this end around. Again, you wanna have it lining nicely layered with the dark teal. And then bring that around and tuck it underneath the back. I'm not gonna worry too much about the fringy ends because I'm gonna do it all at the end when everything is done. So next one I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna do this aqua here and another different color. I'm gonna, you know, I'll do the teal again. Because <laughs> you can see I have the dark teal and the turquoise, so I want the next color to be the aqua, so it matches the order that I did here. Again, you can switch that around if you want to play with it. I think I did it differently yesterday, but since this is a tutorial, I'm gonna be more meticulous. Tied not the same way. There you go. I, I do it in the same place, but if you want, you could have it going down, whatever you like. And then take this heel, layer it nicely. And again, this is one of those wraps that you don't need to really, really tug on the scarves to show them who's boss, but you do need to have some sort of command of the scarves. If you're afraid of them, then it's not going to layer neatly. So remember, don't be afraid of the scarf. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna bring up this one, and it's a bit hard for me to see.
And wow, this actually really does look like a waterfall because of the colors I've chosen. It's awkward for me to tie knots like this again because I'm left-handed and that's not my natural way of tying knots. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that these knots are nice and close together. If there's too much gaps between them, then it looks a bit sloppy. And then you're bringing this one around back. Same thing right here. It's going to be right at the back of your bump. And you got to find a nice place to tuck that in. There you go. And make sure that all the fringy ends are away. Smooth this out. Just fix all the top, everything. Again, I don't have a mirror, so I can't really see the side of my head, but I can see that there are fringy ends in there, so I'm going to put that away. And then this looks great. Okay, there you go. So I'm just going to show you the side. Check it out. There you go. So I hope you enjoy. Again, um, in the look that I did yesterday, the knots were positioned quite a bit lower, so the fringes were not as dramatic as they are today. But I'm feeling dramatic. So enjoy. I can't wait to see what you ladies do with this. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.